Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2014 Jeep Wrangler Sahara in black that we just got in. Just got unloaded off the truck. Um, so let's check it out. It does have the hard top, as you can see. Now the hard top is not painted like the rest of the vehicle. It's, it's the regular black hard top, but it does match the vehicle pretty good. Um, can't really tell that it's not shiny too much kind of matches the vehicle pretty good does have the aluminum wheels four-wheel disc brakes fog lights here in the front side steps You see it has the leather seats. It's this hair right there. Give you an idea of what the back looks like on this side. I like those wheels, especially that little old school Jeep symbol there. It's pretty cool. You've got a towing package on this one. Go ahead and open up the tailgate here. Now it does swing out pretty wide, so you make sure you have enough room to open it up when you're near obstacles or other vehicles. This lifts up. It does have enough headroom to walk underneath and stand right here and load your stuff. You do have a power supply over here. And here's your Alpine. This has a premium Alpine sound system, and this is the subwoofer back here. That bag is for the two tops it's like a the t this is a three-piece hard top the two pieces above the driver and passenger side both come off and you put, put them in that bag and I'll show you that in a second but here's the rest of it here's a carpet mat which is reversible and it does have a rubber side and under here you have a little storage compartment keep things out of sight and under that is your place where you put your tools and stuff for changing your tire those seats do fold down which I'll show you in a second so that way you can have some more cargo space in case you need it you always close the glass first then the tailgate like so fuel cap is on the driver's side which is convenient All right, so here's the inside of the back door. You'll notice it doesn't have any window controls. Um, those are in a different spot. I'll show you in a sec. You do have a little net pocket here to keep things from rattling around. And your door lock. Now here's your back seats. Nice quality leather, firm, comfortable. Decent amount of leg room back here. Your window controls are right here in the center right above your cup holders now when you put your seat down there's this little latch right here opens up and it kind of folds down and the headrest kind of flips back now one thing to to keep in mind when you're if you're putting a child seat this does have a latch system so it does have the little latches in the seat right here is one of them to give so you know what I'm talking about these little latches right there now what but when you're putting the tether on make sure that you do not hook to this that's a cargo uh, tie down for the back your actual latch system anchor is right here behind the seat so I want to keep that in mind it does have heated side mirrors Here's the inside of the driver's door. You do have a the net pocket just like in the back. Door lock controls, and that's about it. The window controls are somewhere else. I'll show you. Now this does not have a power seat. Wranglers don't have a power seat. Um, you, it's not possible to get them, from what I understand. But you do have manual adjustments, and you can adjust it up and down. Like so. 
and then you have the adjustment there for the back and then you can slide it up and down just like a normal seat so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in it's kinda of warm today and turn the AC on a little bit hopefully it won't interfere with the camera too much so here's the steering wheel you do have your cruise control settings on that side on the back of the steering wheel back here I have a volume button on this side on the back of the steering wheel I can change to the stations right now it's on satellite radio I'll turn the volume back down now you do have voice recognition right here you can talk to your car you can say tune to a certain station or call a certain person once you uh, pair your Bluetooth phone, which there's your phone button there to answer and hang up the phone. You do have a, a little menu system right here. Southwest is the, the vehicle's facing southwest. Temperature 77 degrees outside. Now I can push this button, the menu button right here, and kind of scroll through. I can go into a digital sp speedometer like that I can go through and see the fuel economy how many miles to empty tire pressure stuff like that vehicle info I can go into that and you can see specific temperatures pressures so and at any time you want to go back to your compass you have this little button right here and that goes back to your compass this vehicle has four miles on it see the gauges are easy to read pretty simple it does have a leather wrap steering wheel that's comfortable and it's not too it's kind of like has a little bit of a softness to it to where it's not aching your hand when you're driving long periods of time okay up here you have a little storage compartment with a fair amount of depth here's your uconnect system it does have a hard drive and you can add files using this USB drive right here or you can load a CD in here and it does read DVD ROMs as well you do have satellite radio and it does have navigation so let's see you can set a destination like a specific address or you can just kind of see the map like that so, and your clock is there and all that cool stuff Here's your window controls right here, the back and front. Climate control, it does have automatic climate control. So you can set a particular temperature, put it on automatic and just go with it if you want or you can use it manually, whichever you prefer. There's a little joystick right there for adjusting your side mirrors. This one does have heated seats here in the front which you can see the controls here. And here for the driver and passenger. Traction control, you could turn that off if you want to, if you want to really do some spinning or something right next to it is your downhill descent button from what I understand that's not for dry pavement that's for loose um, loose gravel or slippery surfaces of some sort there's your hazard lights right here is your uh, AC adapter you can turn that on and off and it's right here plug in a laptop charging it or your phone or something like that that's what that's for you do have a net pocket down here there's your four-wheel drive shifter there's your automatic shifter. It does have auto stick feature to where you can upshift and downshift if you want to. Right here is your emergency brake cup holders. You see a little Jeep symbol in there. Center console is lockable in case you take the tops off and the doors off. You do have a, some level of securing your stuff. Right in here is a shallow place to put, say, like a telephone or something like that. Now you can open up the whole thing. And it does have a pretty deep pocket with a power supply in here and a USB port for charging stuff. Glove compartment's lockable as well. You have the, the handle there. Auto dim rear view mirror is right here. Right above it, you see a little Jeep symbol. It's pretty cool. Rear view, uh, I mean, visors have little mirrors in them. Now, this section right here, I don't know if you can see this. It's like T-tops in a way, where you have this panel is separate from that panel and separate from the back. So you can take these panels out individually 
and put them in that bag I was talking about back there and that way you can um, get some sun without taking the whole entire top off all right let's go ahead and check and look underneath the hood Does have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. It's pretty pretty good on gas and has a, like 300 horsepower, so it's a pretty powerful engine. And everything under the hood that's in yellow is, is kind of color coded, so you can see what you need to check on your own if you want to. Well, there you have. It. If you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description. And I'll see you next time.